Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page three. Page three is going to have two flaps, a left and a right flap, and a nice belly band to go in the center. So these flaps are four and a half by seven, four and a half by seven. You're going to score a half inch on the four and a half inch side. And we're going to lay it down like so, and the idea is when the flaps are closed, sorry, and I gotta make sure I made my belly band wide enough. I think I did. Yeah, when the flaps are closed, you're gonna have part of this belly band exposed. And then, provided I made it wide enough, it's pretty close. So the idea would be that there's a magnet on either side holding each one of these flaps closed. But I'm gonna test it real quick. I may need to make this belly band a half inch, half inch wider. So let me just do some quick measurements. So, okay, so my center line is four and a half from the edges, and then That should be the edge of the flap should come down to here. That's the center point of it's one and a half, sorry. So if this is installed. Oops, I gotta I gotta do that again real quick. Four and a half. Okay. So it looks like the flap is going to come right here. Let's double check it. That's about right. So let's let's lay a magnet down and see how it looks. Can I get away with it? Because I want to make sure I've got enough coverage on both sides. I think it's close. But rather than risk it, let's just make this a half inch wider. And I think it'll be much easier to, to lay that in. So I am going to change that measurement to three and a half by eight. Three and a half by eight. I'll be right back. Okay. Here we go. Three and a half by eight. We're going to score the top and bottom of this half inch and that's just going to make magnet placement so much easier oops sometimes it just doesn't want to stay in the groove and today is one of those days there we go okay i'm gonna add some tape Also, if you're new, um, that, that's what we call our tape tear tool. And uh, honestly, I can't live without it. It really speeds up cutting the tape and then the tape tears more straight. I used to try to cut it, which gives you the best possible result, but I was finding it was too, it was too cumbersome getting the scissors off and on my hands because of arthritis. So there you go. Okay, so we're gonna find the center of um, our three and a half, we're going to line it up with the center of the page. We're going to put down our belly band. Okay. Okay, it's one and three quarters is the center. I'm going to line it up with my center line here. Before I do, let me go ahead and take off. I'm going to redo my center line so it's not hanging over the edge. It's 
really hard to erase it when it's partially covered with another with a flap. Okay, do this again real quick. There we go. Good enough. Okay, turn it upside down. Okay, there's our belly band, beauteous. Now we're gonna get our flaps left and right in. So again, this is three and a half by eight, three and a half by eight. And then our flaps are four and a half by seven, two of them. You're gonna score a half inch on the four and a half inch side. Repeat that process. Whoops. There we go. Now we are ready to add our bed. So I'm gonna do a quick reference line here and here. Oops. So we wanna make sure our magnet's somewhere in the middle here and we'll be good to go. And I need my fat. I didn't um, add a stub to these. I might change my mind when I finalize my um, designer paper choices. But for now, I'm just going to leave it a square, clean line. I'm going to go ahead and erase my pencil lines. Clean that up a little bit. And that is page three, everyone. Yay! I'll be back soon with some designer choices. Okay, let's get started decorating. Let me verify what page we're on. Page three. Okay, so we've got these two flaps. We've got this nice wide belly band. So I'm using, oh, let me see which, which packet am I using this from? The, this is from the 8x8 collection pack, and this um, was just split in half and trimmed to excuse me, fit the 7 inches. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm getting a little tired. So I'm just going to get some ink on that, and we'll get this down. Sorry about the noise in the background. I think my son's just getting home. I'm just checking to see which way I want this. I think I want it this direction. And I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, my son just got home from work. And that always gets my dog a little wound up. 
Oh, that doesn't want to go in. There we go. It's a snug fit. There we go. Got a little bit of glue everywhere. So normally when I'm sliding um, my paper inside of a pocket like this, I don't put glue on the leading edge, and I did on this one. That's why I was struggling so much. So I know a fair amount of this is going to be inside the pocket, so I don't really need to put glue there. So I'm going to leave about an inch on what I call the leading edge, and it'll slide right into the pocket. It'll be much easier. And then if I have to back it out a little bit, um, oh, I forgot to ink it. If I have to back it out a little bit, um, I won't be leaving a trail of glue. Sorry, the uh, interruption kind of lost, lost my flow a little bit. Okay, now it should slide right in, and you'll see the difference on how easy it is to get it inside the pocket when it doesn't have glue on it. There we go. Perfect. Okay, that's in place. This is going to be our belly band. This is from the 12 by 12. Again, this is from the 8 by 8 collection pack. <laughs> that's not all. Pay attention to me. Okay. We're going to finish this page, and then I'll come spend some time with you. Okay, Nola? Oh, I think I... I don't know which way it goes, but I'm trying to decide what I like. I think I like that. Oh. I know, honey. Oh. No, stop, babe. Maybe you need to go lay down. Go take a nap. Okay, then for this side, this is from the A4 pack, the collectibles. I think the collectibles pack is really cool. I had so many different ideas. Because this has this image has a front and a back, you can really do a lot of dimensional things with it. I've decided to keep it pretty simple because I put some effort into the box itself. Okay, and then we're going to use this here. And honestly, I'm not sure. I think this came from the 8x8 collection pack. <laughs> Knowledge has grown. She gave up on me. Okay. okay now we're going to do the inside. I think this is really pretty. This came from the 12 by 12 collection pack. Uh, is that right? Nope. Mm, nope, it's from the 8x8. Eight eight. No, it is from the 12x12. 12 12. I can see the pattern now. That's very large scale. Um, and I just uh, trimmed it out and then split it in half so it, it'll continue across the spread. There we go. Now I am going to have an insert in the belly band here, but I'm, we're only on page three, so I've got a lot more to cover before I know what's left to um, that I can use on the inserts. 
So I'm not going to cover that in this video. Um, that way I don't have to hold up uploading this video. As I mentioned previously, a lot of times I wait so that I can add last minute details before I upload and I wind up uploading nine or 10 videos in a row. And it, it takes 12 or 14 hours of just sitting there uploading and monitoring. Um, and this way I can get these up sooner. I will cover it in the cut list and I'll also cover it in the walkthrough, but I'm not going to do it for now. But my guess is this is going to be a six by eight inch insert. But again, that's really going to depend on what paper is left over after I cover the rest of the album. Okay, so that's page three. Yay, we're making progress.